Hi, this is Ben, and I'm going to show you how to enable restrictions on your iPad so that you can prevent users from doing certain actions. Okay, so uh, if I've got some apps on my iPad that I want to get rid of, normally I would tap and hold down and the apps start wiggling and I get this little X right here. So all I have to do is click the X and it's going to ask me, do I want to delete the app? Sure, let's go ahead and get rid of it. That's normally what would happen. Now, if you're in an environment where you don't want users to be able to delete those apps, or maybe you're using uh, an iPad that is being managed by somebody at your school or corporation, and they've uh, disabled that, there's a way that you can control that. So what I'm going to do is go into Settings. And once I'm in Settings, I'm going to make sure I'm in the General Settings and I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down until I find restrictions. You can find it right there. Now currently the restrictions on my iPad are off so I'm gonna to have to click this link that says enable restrictions and then it's gonna ask me to enter a passcode. This is important because I'm going to need to remember this passcode in order to disable restrictions again. So I'm just gonna put in something really simple. You can see it on the screen one two three four hopefully you put in something a little more complicated. And now that I have uh, restrictions enabled, you can see that all of these items over here are currently allowed. And one of them in particular, the deleting apps, is currently on. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And now I have disallowed the ability for any user of this iPad to delete apps. What does that look like? Well, let me leave my settings. Here's the uh, same uh, page, same apps. And I'm going to click and hold down and my apps are going to start wiggling just like they normally would after a, a click and hold but you'll notice or a tap and hold sorry you'll notice that I don't have those X's anymore that's because I've disabled that ability in the restrictions so I'm gonna go back to my settings and I'm gonna go back to restrictions notice it's gonna ask for that code there we go and uh, if at some point in the future I want to delete apps again from my iPad, maybe I'm done with those uh, apps and I don't want to see them anymore, I can simply turn that ability back on and then when I leave and come back here you can see I can delete my apps again. So that's really all there is to it and you'll notice here in my restrictions I have a lot of other things that I can turn on and off, including the camera and iTunes Store, iBooks, installing apps, and so forth. You want to be very careful when you're messing around with the restrictions on your iPad, though, because disabling some of these features will really cripple how you can use your iPad, especially if you uh, turn off Safari or the camera app. So there you go. You can also come down and change uh, the level of content that is allowed as well as any privacy settings and uh, other options and uh, settings that happen on your iPad. I hope that helps and I hope that uh, you're able to set up your iPad exactly the way you want to using restrictions.